Hello and welcome to the 19th episode of Miss HTML Teacher. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple but effective desktop background. Now as you can see I have a set background for my desktop and it's a kind of a nature effect. I have overgrown grass at the bottom, a nice stylish kind of texture on the right hand side and to the centre left I have a circle with a few stars in it and centre of that I have a simple tree then just to finish all that off I have the simple glass effect going right through the middle now as I said before I'm going to show you how to create a simple but effective desktop background so first of all we'll need to print screen our desktop and we'll open up a Photoshop and we'll go to file new and whatever comes up within here that is how big your desktop is so mine is 1280 by 800 so I'll click OK don't have to paste anything in and we'll just start off with the rounded rectangle tool and we'll simply go from the top corner to the bottom and we're going to put in a winter kind of colour um, not that one it'll be blue obviously to make the winter effect I'd say this kind of one and then we go to our brush tool and we're going to go down our list and we're going to select a brush that I'd say would match this obviously if you don't have any any additional brushes obviously you just go to Google or whatever browser search engine you use and simply type in Photoshop brushes and I'm sure you'll get a list of should just be specific about what you want um, and bound to come up I'm just going to go down and find a tree not there behind kind of trees um, let's see that one looks quite good then we'll go ahead and we'll create a new layer and we'll put it down to say about 1000 just so we can see it obviously that's not the best so we're going to preferably want it to cover the whole screen um, so I'll put this down to 1000 uh, 400 looks pretty good effect there and just click it a few times just so you can see or you can simply step backwards until you just get the effect you want I'm going to stick with that then I'm going to go and find my birds or you can add in obviously additional trees obviously that's huge but of course whatever you want to do uh, we'll go up here on big bird here's a flock of them we can have it like that and then we can have just down here a moon in the top obviously that can be sh shortened I have a few moon effects obviously there's a galaxy um, that's huge obviously you don't really want that obviously I'm going obviously you can short it down to size um, we're just gonna have that moon and then we're gonna add in our glass effect obviously if you would like that to be just like that without the glass effects of course that can be done um, but I'm going to just add in the glass effect here I'm just going to put it there not in the middle this time hold on we'll create a new layer for this just in case it goes wrong and we're just going to have it there and then we're going to go to our paint bucket which is here 
and we're just going to load that up with white paint and we're going to change the opacity to about 15 and I'm going to go to that and flip that away and there you have it a simple but effective desktop background then you go to save save as sorry file save as name it to whatever you want it to be and just save it as a JPEG image save quality I'm going to put to 12 what is there's your size there ok and then right click on it when it's on your desktop set as desktop background and there you go there is your simple but effective desktop background so thanks for watching this episode of Miss Tate's My Teacher and I will be posting another episode up later on today thanks for watching